Yesterday was Cal State Bakersfield's Caravan Day, where the community visited with campus leadership and staff and got fans excited about the upcoming sports season. The college's sports teams hopped on the runner's bus and drove around Kern County for multiple rallies. And you know, we like to say our name might be CSU Bakersfield, but we're trying to pull in the Tafts, the Wascos, the Hatchaby, Shafter, Delano, that kind of stuff, because we are their team as well. So that's really what our goal is, to sort of just come to uh, local businesses or other establishments and just sort of introduce who we are and talk about our program and uh, get them on board. The bus visited Taft, Wasco, Delano, and Tehachapi throughout the day. The solar eclipse is tomorrow morning and finding those glasses and viewing the eclipse safely are top priorities for people across the U.S. 23 ABC's Alexa Ray is live at the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History and Science with more on how you may be able to score a pair and what to do if you can't track them down. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning, Jess. Yeah, so as of this morning, the museum is currently out of glasses. They were the last place that I was looking to try to find some, so I was really upset when I couldn't find them. But luckily this morning, I did find a pair of glasses on one of our coworkers' desks, and I did just borrow them for today. I will give them back, I promise. And so if you can't find these glasses, you're not fortunate enough to find them, NASA will be live streaming this solar eclipse on their website. I know it's not as good as the real thing, but at least it still works for now. Now the line of totality is going to span about 70 miles and will pass through 14 of those states. It's going to cast a shadow over the whole country and it's going to be moving diagonally from northwest Oregon to southeast South Carolina. And if you aren't fortunate enough to find these glasses, there are still other ways you can view them safely, even do a little bit of DIY there. You can take cardboard or paper, poke a pinhole in it and project that image onto another sheet of paper and you can see what the eclipse is going to look like. Not as good as looking at it, but hey, it still works. And now the these the type of solar eclipse we are experiencing is a total solar eclipse. And these are the rarest types of solar eclipses because they come around about every 18 months and it's even more rare that it's happening across all of the United States because the last time that happened was in February of 1979. Now a full eclipse can last a total of 7 minutes and 30 30 seconds, but here this eclipse is only going to last about two minutes and 40 seconds, so not as long as it could, but it's still going to last for a pretty long time. And if you're trying to go somewhere else because you might want to view it, get a better look, Portland is actually going to have 99% of the sun covered, so hey, that's a good place to check out. Or if you want to go a little more local like LA or Phoenix, still a little bit of a drive, but a little bit closer. Uh, LA is going to have a 62% chance and Phoenix is going to have a six, or 62 coverage and Phoenix is going to have 63% coverage. So if you're looking to travel and get a better view for tomorrow, definitely check out some of those places.